just going to check out our old house. It's been sitting empty so um, for a while they haven't been able to get a builder to develop it so um, we're just going to go check out the actual house and see what it's like for them and yeah see what else we get up to. So we've got here we knew that this was like this because a roof tile is broken and in the storm the other night it fell down so we need to um yes, Eric needs to go onto the roof I am not there are spare roof tiles here we fixed one while we were here so we need to do that I wish I closed the door it isn't the This house has always been really dark. Helps keep it cool in summer. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where our room used to be. I don't think we walked through it after we left. That's the lounge room. And in the backyard is Apparently a jungle. The backyard is the jungle. So oh, you just said? <laughs> yeah. So, <coughs> so the the garden people have only been mowing it. We thought they were maintaining it, but um, they haven't been. So. It is pretty bad. I don't even know how they've been getting in to mow it. Have they been going through the house? Because sure. this is the driveway. Okay, I'm not going down there. Good luck. Good afternoon, guys. So it has been well over a month. I think it's actually been six weeks since we originally did the start of this vlog. Um, and after we had been there for the day we talked about um moving back into the property because while well, it was empty um money has been super tight with us we've been pretty honest about that a lot of families are finding it hard at the moment so much has gone up and it added up and no matter how many times you can say surely you didn't know when you had teenagers that it was going to go up in price. Yes, of course, I'd actually thought our bill would go up to around five to six hundred when they were all teenagers. Pre-COVID, we were spending around the 350 mark, 400 on a well expensive week. Now, we are spending up to a thousand dollars a week on food, between 700 and a thousand. Two of us have food allergies. Great, Olivia has food allergies and I have food allergies um, and it's just that stuff is quite expensive and um, yeah as a lot of people would know with food allergies um, we have different food allergies as well I'm lactose intolerant she's dairy intolerant I can tolerate some dairy like I can have pissed cheese on my burger as long as I don't do it several times a day or several days in a row pretty good um and that sort of thing um fruit i don't know whether anyone else has noticed but fruit is so expensive our kids eat so much fruit it's ridiculous um and yeah even like i was buying the boxes from big watermelon they haven't really had them in a while like they've had the odd ones actually they had bananas the other day when we were moving and i was like I really need to go get them but couldn't so anyway um so yeah so we've decided to move back into the property we have moved back into the property now um yesterday we moved um i held the vlogs off because one um i want them ahead of time so people don't know where we are like if we would go on holidays um to back out to eden people don't know we're out of Eden at this point um, if we choose to travel people don't know where we are um, and I felt that that was a good time it doesn't mean that we won't stop vlogging at any point at any point I don't feel like um, it is the best interest 
for our family I won't do it um, while I was sick uh, I couldn't handle it I actually couldn't handle the trolls during that time um, part of para um, hyper parathyroidism which is what I had but I've never mentioned that before because I could never pronounce it um, is you really struggle with um, like controlling your feelings and stuff like so if anyone annoyed me I could get really cross um, and yeah that was one thing I actually didn't have that much issue my biggest one was pain in my stomach and all my bones um, but anyway so yeah so we are moving back in we'll move back in or oh, we're still moving um, I actually didn't do the moving it actually rained today and it was a nightmare yesterday it wasn't as easy um, I have been moving stuff here every time we come to renovate I would bring stuff here uh, just to eliminate um, the amount of times we go later on um, and yeah and we've really been cutting down we've already done one hard garbage so we're allowed one meter wide one meter high three meters wide hard garbage we just put on the front lawn and the gov and the, the council comes and takes it away for free and uh, we have another one uh this week i think it is um and yeah so we um do that again and i just got rid of a whole heap of stuff got rid of i got really picky with um picking the hand-me-down clothes I used to have like a winter tub and a summer tub and I keep pretty much anything that wasn't really ratty um, and some stuff in there I was like oh, I would never put that on them so I just got rid of it every size now has singular tubs and some sizes are sharing a tub like four to fives and five to sixes are and so once they sort of start school um, I've sort of made them share a tub these tubs I'm actually in the sauna um, I don't know if you can see that so these are all all been nicely made up it's one thing i did over there i didn't film it i'm so sorry um it was the biggest nightmare i was one of the things i did here before we moved here so i laid it all out on the ground made piles and hadn't been able to do that um and it was so therapeutic um and in our original house that we were in when we started vlogging we had cabinets in the garage and they were all sized up so each row was each size and then they had two boy cupboards and just one girl cupboard because we only had one girl at the time um actually we had bella at the end um so yes so yeah it was really i loved that system and i found once i sort of got rid of it and we just threw it into tubs to come here we lost that and we could never find stuff and people were like, oh, don't you have stuff? And I'm like, I do, but I can't find it. So that was great to get that all organised. Love that. And now I can just, okay, I need size 3 for Grace here. Just come back here and get it. Um, need size 10 for the Harry and Joel. Come get, get it. Um, so that was really good. Um, we got rid of quite a bit of toys. Um, we did keep um, some and we were quite strict there's still so much of the house because anything we chose not to keep i've been throwing on the floor like oh no we'll just throw that we'll deal with it later i've really regretted that decision right now because you walk through the whole house like whoa um so i'm actually thinking of just scooping it up and throwing it out and picking out anything that can go to an op shop and just donate it because obviously it's been thrown there and not thought of so yeah, there's a few odd things there that need to come. A few things are still like fully set up. Um, but yeah. But anyway, that is what we've been up to. It has taken quite a long time. We are not renovators. It was a very fun... We still giggle about putting the ceiling plaster up. Um, Cooper, Lachlan, Tyler and I held the plaster up because uh we didn't realize it was a long weekend and there was an extra fee to do um to get a lifty machine so we just did it um by ourselves um we only had five sheets so um it was a lot of, a big learning curve sorry we didn't film that either because i don't know i didn't film that day and yeah but um lots of photos from that day so i'll be putting them up on instagram i might put it at the end of the vlog that they belong to um so yes 
hopefully i'm hoping to go monday to friday i don't want to do seven days again i feel like that's unrealistic uh, you don't go to work seven days a week generally um some people do um so i just think that um having that expectation is wrong i thought of going every other day but then i get so sidetracked and forget but i feel like monday to friday I was pretty good at i've done it previously um it also gives us two days leeway um we already have i think two weeks worth of vlogs to go up i think I do have to edit them though um but hopefully by the time this one goes up i would have edited a few of them so yes that is it for today guys um and sorry about going missing we probably will do it again um no guarantees we've done it quite a bit over the time i actually watched one of a dozen and they do the same things pop up with our families and um like them eric i like them with troy going away eric goes away for business as well and it's just so hard like when that one person is missing you think oh it's fine but they do so much so anyway um that is it for tonight guys like subscribe and comment below bye